Welcome sports fans inside a high school sports caravan week one of the regular season, Todd, and a quick summer. We were at the Jamboree last weekend at Parkway North, and we saw one half of the groups play because uh, inclement weather came in, but uh, really, it, it, quickly, it came upon us. Yeah, it really did, and you know, you talk about, you know, back when we were in school, that everything kind of started after Labor Day, now it's moved up, and you know, one thing you think about is, in terms of weather is the heat, and obviously, the mandatory water breaks really come in handy at this point in the year because they are playing towards the end of August. Our game this week is Kirkwood and Chaminade. Kirkwood, a Class 6 school. Uh, Reese Goddard, their quarterback, comes back this year, and Reese Goddard is going to be a force to be reckoned with for this Kirkwood team. Yeah, he really has a lot of talent, a lot of tools, able to really create a lot of opportunities offensively. And you take a look at one of the targets that's getting some attention from college is Taj Telfair, you know, and he lines up in the wide receiver of the tight end slot. And I think he's one of those guys that is going to help Goddard but Goddard knows how to tuck the ball and run when he has to. Running back, I'm sure, by committee as Jared Alton has moved on to the next level. For Chaminade, 21 seniors coming back this year. This is a team that's loaded up after taking a thrashing in the state championship game last year. Man, 21 seniors. I mean, you just don't hear of that as far as a team that made it to the state championship and comes back with that much. And I think Coach Antoine Torrey, you know, there are a lot of expectations on this team, and for good reason, because when you have that type of leadership and still a lot of offensive weapons led by Michael McGovern, their quarterback. And, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that, you know, we talked to Coach Torrey, and, and I think he understands the pressure is there. But, you know, it's one of those things they've been there, and they should, you know, be on, on track to get back there to the Dome. A lot of pressure. Is actually, they, to, to Columbia. To now. Columbia. <laughs> it'll be, well, actually, for them, it'll be Springfield. Field, yeah. Because they're, they're in Class, class 5. five. Yeah. Classes 1 through 5 this year in football will play down in Springfield, Missouri, at Missouri State. And Classes uh, 6 and 8 man will be at Mizzou this year. Next year, they will reverse. Uh, and the 1 through 5 will play at Mizzou. And Classes 8 man and Class 6 will play down in Springfield. Preseason rankings come out, and you talk about uh, Coach Torrey, they're the number one preseason team in Class 5 and they should be. Yeah, and, and you know, it's one of those things when you talk about Reggie Crawford, a kid that, you know, good basketball player, but he's going to focus. He's a tall, ver you know, very vertical, uh, you know, accomplished kid that is going to focus on football and Coach Torrey said that, you know, he, he could probably choose between the two, but the gridiron's where he's going to lean and, you know, you also have a, a guy like Days, you know, at the running back slot, he's going to go play Ivy League at Brown University just a, a real cerebral player. And that's Chaminade's got a lot of those really smart guys that make solid decisions. And uh, he even said Michael McGovern's 30 plus He's ACT. 30, 32 or 33 on the ACT. Yeah. Uh, he said, you know, it, with his uh, intellect being as high as it is and some of the Ivy League schools looking at him, maybe he'll give him a little bit of leeway this year because we know he's kind of intelligent. When you look at other things, Todd, we'll start in Class 6 this year. CBC comes back as the number one team in Class 6, but really a lot of pressure under young quarterback, a younger brother of Blaine Gabbard. Yeah, and that's the thing is that CBC always, you know, in the spotlight, and and uh, Pringles, uh, Coach Pringles, always has always has a good squad. You know, they were runner up last year, but I think it's one of those things. It'll be interesting to see how they handle the pressure and the expectations of being number one in the state. And they lost last year to Blue Spring South. Blue Spring South this year is the number six team in Class Six. Moving down the ranks, if you look at what's going on in in Class Five, Fort Zumwalt South is number f is a preseason rank number five in Class Five. Pattonville, a team we saw at the Jamboree last week a quick fast Pattonville team yeah. was preseason ranked number six. Viani gets the 10 spots at, uh, this year. And Viani is one of those teams that every year you look at them, the team that they always have the hardest time with is Jackson. Yeah, Jackson always comes up or they, you go, know, they, they go down there and they've had, you know, super overtime contests in the playoffs. And that's the thing, you know, Viani, they, they've traditionally had very good running backs come through that program so they know how to control the line of scrimmage. Class for Webb City, lost in a championship game to Kearney. Uh, and really, Webb City is the class of Class 4 because we always joke around about how these kids get the 
Web City playbook in elementary school, yeah. so they have plenty of time. Westminster comes in as a preseason rank number four. They'll have a new head coach as Corey Snyder has moved on to Francis Howell. Yeah, and, and what a great pickup for Francis Howell. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how Westminster picks up. You know, the you know the being in that program and how far Corey Snyder did with that program. It'll be interesting. The, the in class four, the team that I think you need to watch out for is Parkway North. You know, Bob Button always one of the great coaches, classy guys, and he's got some weapons over there, and we didn't get a chance to see them play in the Jamboree. They were in the second session that got rained out, but they're, they're kind of sneaky. I, I think they could move up the ranks. Our last game of the season will be Pattonville and Parkway North on HighSchoolSportsCaravan.com, and will be uh, throughout the year. So uh, our schedule is up for the entire football season. Ten games in total at HighSchoolSportsCaravan.com. We're excited to bring it to you this year. Class 3 this year, John Burroughs, they got the monkey off their back last year, winning state title. Yeah, and uh, you know, you got to feel great for the Bombers and that program, winning tradition. I mean, it's very hard to make it to a state championship as consecutively times as they did and to come up short, so to get the title. Um, but, you know, Target will be on their back this year to try to defend that state title. Unbelievable that we get a start here of the foot high school football season so early, but we're excited to have it for you here at HighSchoolSportsCaravan.com. Todd Schumacher, John Edwards, we'll see you around the football field. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the season.